Hey guys, Bobby at Southern Comfort Automotive Performance. Hope everybody's having a good week. I'm going to show you what happens when an 18-wheeler rear ends one of our transportation trucks. This is one of our Graphite 2017 Model Apex. Brand new truck, no miles on it. Um, say less than 20 anyway, just from pulling in and out of the shop. But we're actually shipping it up to the northeast. Uh, we use three car haulers to haul our stuff you can't put them on the big haulers you know like you see the double decker ones because they're just too big once we get the lifts on them um anyway the guy was sitting standing still at a stop sign or a red light i'm not sure where it happened i want to say i'm tennessee somewhere and um big old 18 wheeler did not stop needless to say so this truck was sitting on the very rear end, obviously, and you'll see the back here in a second. Pushed it up into the front, the vehicle that was sitting in front of it, with such force that it busted. Now, this is plastic right here, so this is obviously the metal bumper. You can see where it just skinned it up real bad. busted the whole front end but the fun part is where the impact happened sort of tore it up pretty good you can see where the guy hit and just kind of hit him kind of quartered him right up against the fence so I can't get too much bigger of a view but anyway as you can see this is metal the bed is metal tailgates metal <laughs> did have a spray in bed liner in it so you can see it just kind of folded it up with the metal underneath that it kept it together I think think they said the guy was doing 45 ish or so maybe a little bit faster you know it's hard to estimate speed sometimes but anyway crushed all this busted the wheel you can see where the tire was sitting where he hit it right there and then just punctured the sidewall on the tire ripped the fender flare obviously these are our tabs that we put behind there that usually they're full right there's something in here too and it's obviously gone and it just crumpled it pushed it into the cab nice little big dent there I don't think they'll total this truck though this is all bent in more so than normal oh look this is our plastic this is our fender flare there you go that's the part that comes up and we screw to the inside but other than that it survived the impact pretty good i mean somebody will be able to fix this truck up Obviously not us, it'll be the insurance company telling us what to do at this point, so. This damage will have to be disclosed once the truck is sold to the end user, because it is a new vehicle, it's not been titled. But anyway, just want to give you guys a quick look. This is just some of the stuff we deal with. We don't deal with this a whole lot, but more than you would think, believe it or not, this is you know, I'm going to say, especially when we were doing the high top vans, we would always have somebody run those things under too low of a bridge or whatever and just rip the top right off of them. But fortunately, we're not building those things anymore. So we don't have to worry about that. Anyway, hope you guys have a good week. Just thought this was pretty neat. Just wanted to show it to you. Thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Please give me a thumbs up on the video if you like them. It does help.